As much as I hate to say that I'm different, I am a little bit different. Because it's not considered a disability, it's almost like, well, it's just an emotional thing, it's just a physical thing, so it is not actually that important. But obviously, to people like me who have vitiligo, it's something that's incredibly important because it does affect us on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it's something that I see in the mirror every day. Every day that I look at myself, I can see that I have vitiligo. It covers round about 75% of my body, um, my arms, my legs, mostly, and a tiny bit on my face. My mum and my dad were quite conscious that I just needed to be a child like everybody else, and they would you know, allow me to wear shorts and have it on display. It was only really when I hit my teenage years, from about sort of 12, 13, and I went to senior school, was when the problem started and I became more self-conscious. There was the odd occasion when kids might be a little bit spiteful and call me sort of zebra or cow or anything that was kind of black and white, penguin, anything like that. I think it's actually made me an overachiever. It's made me want to succeed. It's made me want to try really hard. For me, you know, going to uni, you know, being able to buy my property quite young, um, you know, be, you know, be independent. I've just tried so hard to kind of make something of myself. You know, I was born on an East London estate and I was never destined to go to university or buy property or anything like that. And I think because I've come so far in the 30 years that I've been here, it's almost like I put all that down to being that little bit different. And sometimes I do feel like I need to work that little bit harder. If I'm going out on a sort of Friday or Saturday night, I will um, put makeup on my arms um, and it's makeup in terms of just fake tan, an ordinary fake tan. I'll usually go for the darkest colour um, and I'll just put it on over a gradual sort of two days up until when I'm going out. Um, in terms of on my legs, I don't put anything on my legs. I've just got a really fantastic pair of tan tights that I use. Times when I've been on the tube and it's been really packed and I've had to stand up and I might be holding on to the, you know, the tube railing and people would look at my hands and then look at my face and they're kind of wondering, you know, how comes her hands white and her face is, you know, mixed race? When people are staring at me, they don't realise how much they are trampling on my confidence because they can walk off and, you know, all they've done is stared at me, whereas I walk off and all I think is, wow, do I really look like different? And it's something that, you know, it kind of plays on my mind. People need to be more aware that, you know, pe people are different.